Illumina Golden Gate Essay for Mace Association Mapping Mace is a dominant and subsistent crop plant which stands third largest after rice and wheat. It belongs to Poaceae family. The plant in total is either consumed as animal feed or in human consumption or processed in industries. There are several disease resistant and candidate genes which are mapped by association analysis approach. Here it is focused on beta carotin association mapping. Most prominent function of carotin is pro vitamin A. Hence it could be supplemented in the diet to overcome vitamin A deficiency. It has been observed that maize kernels contain low proportion of beta carotin of nearly 1.5 micrograms per grams. To dissect the phenotypic diversity, association mapping approach can be used. That provides the necessary genotypic information to facilitate efficient integration into maize inbred lines. Total carotenoids were extracted from the driver's panel of maize lines by standard protocol and beta carotene content of individual inbred lines quantified by using HPLC and the observations were recorded. High Taraput SNP genotyping is facilitated by Golden Gate assay of Illumina. The various principles and methods of genomics platform offers rapid screening procedures to identify and map the candidate genes. Golden Gate assay is designed for large-scale genotyping of biallelic markers like SNPs. Some of the applications are fine mapping of candidate association regions, genome-wide association studies, linkage analysis for mapping the location of the phenotype, SNP discovery validation, homozygosity mapping, copy number variation analysis, and the candidate gene studies. Here, it is focused on the candidate gene studies by using Illumina Golden Gate Essay platform. Some of the assay design tools which are available online for SNP design are the Ensemble, the DB SNP database available in NCBA data warehouse, Repeat Masker Genome and the Primer 3 software. Golden Gate Assay is a microarray-based high throughput SNP genotyping process. Some of the features of this includes It requires a prior sequence information regarding the organism. The array type here used is beat arrays to which the DNA is hybridized. The reaction is ASPE that is allele specific primer extension. Multiplexing can be done from 384 to 1536 arrays. The SNP sample size includes 1536 SNPs per array. And finally, the labeling and reduction could be done by the two color fluorescents, namely Psi3 and Psi5 dyes. Researchers can create their own genotyping panels with the assistance of ADT. There are four methods for the preliminary evaluation of the custom-made SNP loci. It involves the gene list which comprises of the bases upstream and downstream of the gene, the region list which comprises of the chromosome on which the SNP is located, RS list 
the number taken from the db snp sequence list and the existing file list the adt provides a simple and a powerful method for creating the most successful custom genotyping assays list is evaluated by the adt and finally the adt snp score file output is used to refine an initial assay panel the brief outline of the golden gate assay it involves activation of dna by paramagnetic particles annealing of assay oligonucleotides to the genomic dna followed by the assay oligo extension and ligation and the pcr amplification pcr product preparation and hybridization to arrays and imaging Initially it involves isolation of the genomic DNA from the inbred lines. The DNA is isolated by the standard protocol and the quality needs to be measured with reasonable accuracy and the sample concentration should be 50 nanograms per microliters as low concentration leads to poor reproducibility and inaccuracy in allele calling. The chief feature of the Illumina Golden Gate is the use of bead arrays. The individual beads are pooled and self-assembled to form a functional array. These are optically wired beads in the wells. This is the scanning electron microscopic image of the fiber optic bundles. There are 49,779 fiber strands in each 1.4 mm bundle. And finally, they are printed on the matrix. The initial step involves the activation of DNA by binding to the biotin and streptovidin beads. The DNA is activated by biotin and streptovidin paramagnetic complex. This step requires a DNA input of 250 nanograms at 50 nanograms per microliter of the DNA. Annealing of assay oligos to the genomic DNA. Three oligos are synthesized for each SNP. Two allele specific oligos that distinguish the SNP and local specific oligo downstream the SNP. Both contain target sequences for the set of universal primers P1 and P3. All oligos are hybridized to the genomic DNA that represents a single reaction well. The next step involves assay oligo extension and ligation followed by PCR amplification. A set of fluorescent labels Psi3 and Psi5 is used and the PCR is carried out. Finally, after PCR amplification, the PCR products are denatured and combined with the Illumina B. Next step is array hybridization. As the LSO contains a particular address sequence complementary to the sequence attached in the beads, the address sequences within the PCR amplicons hybridize to their complementary beads. Each address sequences translate to a particular locus and the presence of Psi3, Psi5 or both the dice on a given B type indirectly, say AA genotype or AG genotype or GG genotype. The data analysis is based on the identity of the Illumi code and the fluorescent label and the alleles will be called for each genotype. The phenotypic data that is obtained from all the maze inbred lines needs to be correlated with the genotypic data that is obtained through the Illumina Golden Gate platform. And this is done by the association analysis, which provides the necessary genotypic information to facilitate 
efficient integration and selection of maize crop plants. Association Mapping The association mapping is a high-resolution based method for mapping candidate genes. It involves the use of bioinformatics tools and databases. And it is based on the concept of linkage disequilibrium. For maize association analysis, a software called as a TASL is used to examine the nucleotide polymorphic trait association. The raw output from the Illumina Beat Studio can be converted into standard SMP formats by format converter and the tassel can be run with the loaded data. Both the phenotype and the genotypic data can be given as an input and the association analysis can be studied. It has been observed that the CRT RB3 was mapped in a QTL cluster for carotenoid related traits on chromosome number 2, that is bin 2.03. Some of the advantages are the technique is highly robust in nature and it doesn't require any amplification of sequence containing the SNP and all materials are generic. Some of the general considerations are the copies can lead to adverse effect, polyploid genomes can generate cluster patterns, higher copy numbers distort amplification.